Generic greetings and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Today's beverage is a wonderful cup of green tea. So in a previous video of Oxygen Not Included, I showed you just how not to build a hydrogen generation system, among other things. And as part of that video, as well as a subsequent follow-up question on the channel, I asked, would you like to see more of the game? Would you like series, etc.? And the response was overwhelmingly, yes, that would be totally and very acceptable. So this is that. This is the mini-series that we're going to be doing, and we're going to go through all of the typical Oxygen Not Included stuff, which includes things like digging and researching and building and hopefully not falling into a septic tank and dying, because I find that's something you want to avoid in life in general as well. So let's go over to New Game, and we'll go to Survival. I also want this series to serve as sort of a mini-tutorial and maybe sort of a bit of a helpful, uh, helpful set of videos to show you people maybe how not to do things but my aim is to show uh, what I've had success with and maybe uh, serve as a bottle sort of mini tutorial type thing so I'll be going through things like the oxygen systems and the gas networks and temperature and all of the electrical stuff and things like that. In terms of our starting destination we've got a frozen hellhole, broccoli sticking out of a rock heart on fire and whatever that is we're going to go with the one all the way to the left here which is the easier one and that's because we just want the moment to moment to be a bit more relaxing, a bit more chill because that's what we're all about. G seed is what we'll go with for our coordinates, so you may be able to follow on, although I don't know if it replicates it 100%, but we'll see. And we'll go to start game and select our starting duplicates. Now, I find that for the starting duplicates, you want someone that's really good at digging because one could argue the thing you do the most of, especially early game, is dig. So you want someone with seven excavation. I find that then someone with a decent amount of construction and something else is worthy. And then also a general all-rounder. So over on the left-hand side, we're going to change this drop-down to digger. And then we will roll until we get seven in excavation. So there we go. So this is Bert. They are interested in digging and have 7 excavation. Their traits are Night Owl, so gains a nighttime attribute bonus. Uh, not bad, not terrible. Um, not great, not terrible rather. Squeamish, uh, cannot do doctoring errands, that's not really a problem. Let's go for a builder then, and we want a 3-3 build, so uh, where is it? There we go. That's construction and machinery, which is um, Ashcan. You can see they have interests in building and operating. Their traits are Grease Monkey, so increased machinery, so brilliant. And also Yorkel can't do researching, so that's not too much of a problem. Then finally we want a cooker, and we want to have someone that's good at cuisine, and also good at science. And this is where we will be furiously mashing this button until we get what we want. I think there is a way to... Oh no, you can change the name, but you can't select uh, the traits as far as I'm aware, uh, it doesn't say, but we're, not, we're just going to keep mashing this until we get the one we want. What will probably happen is we'll get the right, we'll get the right uh, traits here, sorry, we'll get the right stats, but then the traits will be wrong, so we'll get someone that's like, yeah, like that, like narcoleptic. There's a couple of traits I would recommend you avoid in general, but certainly for the first three duplicates, if you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Avoid narcoleptic, um, Loud Sleeper and Flatulent because those traits are very difficult to work around and they can uh, really hinder things. So there is uh, Marie here. Uh, cuisine, Excavation and Science. Uh, they have Mole Hands which is increased excavation again and they have a small bladder. So actually a fairly decent digger. And there we go. I think we're going to go with that. We'll go for G-Colony and we will embark. So we will get an alert and we'll see just how our starting location is uh, laid out. So, alert. I've awoken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. So we're going to have a quick look at our surrounding environment. We can see that we have two fairly huge water sources around here. We also have a cool steam vent down there, which is something I've not experienced this close to the starting location. With the water round here, uh, it means that basically we're going to have to then build up, which isn't too much of an issue. We've got water there and water there, and it's actually not bad as a starting location goes, so that's perfect. Let's go over to digging, and we're going to set some digging to the left-hand side here, to about there, I would say. Uh, yeah, something like that, and then we'll unpause it and let them crack on. I'm probably also going to build a bit of floor all the way along there. In terms of the base design and the layout, I'm probably going to stick with something that's fairly square, um, but obviously it'll change as we go into other areas and such, and we could have some problems there. Um, we want to have three areas for um, traversing the base, one on the left, one on the right, and one fairly centralised. And each of these shafts will contain a ladder, as well as the fire person's pole, so they can slide down very quickly, although that's in the research and I'll show you that later on. In terms of what we need to build in the first day, I would say at minimum we need three cots for them to sleep, and we need an outhouse. 
the problem with building that at the moment is that we were building the outhouse right near the water supply, which is not good. I'm also worried that that's all granite, so we can't even dig this out because we need to eventually line one of these. Um, it's also possible that I could just dig down both of these and enter it here, but no, because then it would go to this uh, steam vent here and that would probably be bad. So steam, unbreathable gas. Is there such thing as a steam engine in the game? I really can't remember. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to max speed out and let them crack on. In terms of oxygen generation, we're not really concerned at this point because we do have the ox light, which is emitting oxygen. So we don't really need to worry too much about that at this stage. We just want to start digging out. And I'm going to dig out to the right-hand side here. And same again with the tiles. Go right across with them tiles. And this is only a rough layout, you understand. Uh, while we're waiting for that, actually, we'll go to cot and place cot one, two, three, four. And let them crack on with that, because we need them. Uh, need to have them some place for them to sleep. And we may as well, may as well place a wash basin in. Hmm, probably over this side actually. Place it over this side. I was going to place it this side because, it, but otherwise, it means that the cots mm, we can't expand. So we need a wash basin and we need a toilet. And then that's our plumbing pretty much sorted. So let's assume, perhaps wrongly. That we're going to have the centralised shaft here, which makes sense because we can go down to there. Which means we need a door, a gap of two, and then a door. So the first thing that we're going to build will be our house around there. Is that about right? Door. D -d door. Um, cancel, no. We want one there. We want a wash basin there. Door. Two, two, door, and then that there, that's fine. The wash basin is good because you can wash your hands after going to the outhouse, which means germs don't spread as quickly and it's a little bit more clean. Right, so we're going to have our door there and then the ladder start there. The problem with that is if we look at our ladder, it goes very close to that, uh, and that's sand, so that might end up breaking at some point. So we might... Ah, oh, that's a problem. That is a thing, actually. That means that this water here we have a problem with. Because it means that when we build the pole down there, it's going to then break that and this is all going to flood down. We might have to think about pumping that into here at some point. But that's a future us problem. Current us is just focused on excavating all of this and then excavating all of this. Uh, just to get all of these seeds and stuff. You can see we're digging that up. Eventually we will get farming and all of that sort of thing. But that's a, that's a more advanced option for us and I reckon what's probably going to happen is they're going to dig out and then someone's going to get stuck on one side. Speaking of the side, is there anywhere, uh, do I want to go any further? I think that where I am is acceptable, I think that's okay. Mm, probably a wall up there, yeah that's that's fine. So uh, you can see they've now finished for the day, they have gone and they have gone and uh, started to eat, in fact I think they had a bristle thing there. In terms of our edible, you can see that we have nutrient bars, mercroot and bristle berries because obviously we've taken some of this stuff here so that's alright. They're now going to go to bed and some of them will get increased traits because of um, because of its night time. You can see we have a, a, well, a couple of uh, creatures here, a couple of critters. We've got a shine bug over there and we've got a hatch which is there. Uh, two shine bugs actually. I'm hoping that those shine bugs don't come and hover near these cots because that can interrupt sleep and indeed it has happened previously in uh, different builds that I've done. So we're going to keep digging down here. This will then serve as, well for a start we'll get three more shine bugs which we don't need, but it'll also serve as a carbon dioxide sink, a well essentially, so that if we go over to, you can see our oxygen overlay, all the carbon dioxide because it's heavier has gone down here and it will get compressed as we generate more oxygen although the oxalite over here is actually almost almost gone anyway, but once that's sorted ah, you can see that like, this person is now stuck and they can't get back across, this is, oh no they've just actually fallen into the water, brilliant start, uh, let's go over to ladder we'll change that to maximum priority and we're going to build up straight like so just so this person can get out, because otherwise they're going to drown. And that is not something that we are aiming for. So let's go over to tiles and we'll wait for them to crack on with that. I'm going to change this over to a standard build um, timescale. There we go, that's now all, all pretty much sorted. And then we'll have the ladder that goes across like so, over to there. And then the same on this side, like that. I don't know what, what our main source of water will be. I'm probably going to go with that, but we'll see. In terms of this bit here, well, we do need a well for the carbon dioxide and also we need essentially a tank to pump all of our uh, our grey water. And it's probably going to be this. 
Although we do have that polluted oxygen over there and also polluted water down there. So maybe if we go down and run the pipe across, we can just dump it in there. That's probably what we'll do. Probably, but we'll see. So we're going to keep digging out there. In terms of water, we currently don't have any. So I'm going to deconstruct these two here. The reason for that is we can go to plumbing and then to the pitcher pump. And then we can place a... No, we can't place a pitcher pump because it's all getting used. Place the pitcher pump there. Uh, you can see that it doesn't reach very far down, but it should hopefully reach as far as we need. It says a food shortage, and the reason for that is technically we've now got no food because these aren't connected to anywhere else. But as soon as this is built, it will connect up, and then this will be all sorted. And there you go, and then that removes that's removed, as well as the uh, the other stuff that was mentioned in there. I'm going to go to priority and change this to priority now, and I want that to be dug out uh, sooner rather than later, just because, as you can see, if we go over to oxygen overlay, all of this is full of carbon dioxide. There's nowhere for that to go. So I want it to go down and flow into here. That's the overall aim. In terms of this water source here, this is going to be our primary water source for when we start to pump things. And we'll probably end up pumping a lot of this water into there. But that requires, well, it requires a couple of things. Uh, mainly electricity, which we currently haven't got. So we'll probably put something that, like that around here. And then we'll have to worry about things like the rooms and such. In terms of printables, we are currently on 0.9 cycles, so tomorrow we'll be able to get another printable. We've now burst into here. Not only will that mean that all of this oxygen is going to go up, it means that you'll see a big flow of carbon dioxide going down into there. If we go over to this, you can see that is exactly what's happening. All of this is now flowing down and we're getting very breathable air, which is permeating around here. So that is perfect. As I said um, earlier, we don't really need to worry about oxygen generation at the moment, although it's something that we do need to think about. I'm going to go over to ladder here, and we're going to build this ladder straight up to there. Once again, just try to open this up. You can see that's inert. It's not uh, emitting anything, just because this is totally um, full, so that's fine. In terms of what we've got around us, it's... Ooh, we've got something over here. We've got a security door there, and we've got these ruins. You get, like, ruins and relics and things like that. So that's what's over on the left-hand side there. This one is the cool steamer. This is the sort of one that's not concerning, but certainly the one that I've not experienced before. I've seen a natural gas vent, uh, but I haven't seen a steam vent... I don't think at all. Actually, maybe, mm, that might be a lie, but certainly not this close to the base. Um, also, we've got... A, is that a Paku? It is a Paku just floating around in that polluted water. Not great. Anyway, so we need to go over to probably power and then to a manual generator. We're going to place a manual generator there. We'll then place a battery next door. Hang on. We've run out of materials. There we go. And it closed for some reason. That there. Wire can go down, across, up. And we're out of metallic ore again. What are we making these these out of? Yeah, it's made, made, made out of sandstone. So it's just the metallic ore that's a problem. Which is why we're probably going to have to dig into that. Sooner rather than later. Uh, okay, let's do that. Dig and dig. A lot of coal in here as well, as you can see. So that's getting dug out. We might as well dig out that there we are and then we'll hopefully have enough to get this wiring in wiring into there and then preemptively doing that because we want to go to stations and get a research station but we do need more of that all there we go and we'll place that there so that's our first research station excellent what have we got at the top here well we have oh we have some sort of weight plates there and some sort of AND gate, so some circuit network there. So again, that's not something I've not seen before, so that'll be interesting. Having a look over there and excavating. Um, we do have another printable very shortly, so that should be good. Once we've got the research up and running, we can start researching a couple of things, but we'll have to see what we need. Uh, is that about sorted? That is about sorted. That all That's getting done, that's getting ran on, that's perfect. So, this is now emanating down there. We're currently waiting for that. I think what we want to do is focus on putting a tile right across here. Like that. And as I mentioned earlier, I think this is the furthest we'll go. Probably that is fine. Although we might end up digging it here just to get more stuff. And I think it's probably best if we get an oxygen diffuser now. At the moment, we don't need it. Actually, I might as well just put it there. That's better. We don't need it at the moment, but 
if we wait for the oxygen to get low, then that'll... Well, that's generally not the time you, <laughs> you want to uh, start thinking about uh, getting oxygen. Want to be a bit pro more proactive than that. Let's go to wire. We'll want to wire across there and into that thing. And we're going to go to research and there's all manner of research. We are going to focus on basic farming to get the compost heap there. Just so we can compost our outhouse stuff. That's fine. And we do have another printable, so let's have a quick look at that. Choose the blueprint. We have Rust as a care package. We have Oxlite as a care package. And we have Ellie and Mima. Uh, we've got Creativity. That's something I really don't care about at this stage. Science, Strength and Creativity. That's actually not a bad one. So we'll print them out and welcome Ellie. And we also have a skill point now because they come with a skill point. So all of these ones with a heart means that they gain some morale when they pick that up. So that's good. We're going to go with probably... Um, extra research, I think. Yeah, that's okay. Because we are using the research station. And you can see Ellie's come along and uh, replace them there. <laughs> it does say unrefrigerated food, which is completely true. We actually don't have any way of generating food at the moment. Um, we should probably, f I should probably focus on that actually as well. Anyway, let's dig out some of this here. I'm going to dig out that and then that. I'm not going to dig out that, uh, that oxide because it is currently just doing its own thing. So that's fine. So we have water source, we have toiletries, uh, wash basin, and we have all of that. What we don't have yet is a way to discard our grey water, which will probably be here, which means digging across and then down. What I'm going to do, go to base, go to tile, and I'm going to place these tiles in here as if these were like the different stratas of the base. So one, two, three, four, and that will be there. One, two, three, four there and that is technically where our technically where that will sit that level because we're making them like level four so we could just build across like that and then dig and then dig out the problem with doing this is that ah not only is that granite so it's a it's a really quite dense material we don't have anyone to dig through it and also see this is all polluted oxygen that will eventually start coming in here and then going around the base and we'll need to We'll need to probably look at maybe getting a filter. Uh, we can get the filter. It's uh, down here. Where is it? It is there. But that requires advanced research, and we need advanced research from there. So we'll probably go ahead and do that next. I think getting that would be beneficial. So we'll dig our little section out there. We will build a couple more cots like that. And you can see them all cracking on digging. As I said at the start of the series, it's something that you d you tend to dig quite a lot in this game. Um, it's not really a big surprise, is it? Let's go to tile. We're going to dig down like so, and then across, and then up. And that'll be our that'll be our tank there. We will need access to that. We'll have to put a ladder in at some point, and we'll probably put a ladder either side just so we can get all of this built. So um, yeah, let's do that. Let's actually de deconstruct that deconstruct that and then we'll have a ladder that goes down like so then a ladder that goes down like so and because a lot of this is granite we won't be able to dig it out anywhere mm. so we won't be able to dig a lot of that out and there's currently some people idle strangely Bert's idle ah Bert's <laughs> Bert's got themselves into a little bit of a pickle um he's currently standing on the oxide because that's the only thing that's there okay dig the oxide and bump <laughs> it just collapsed straight away Ah, poor bird. Research is now complete rated, so we now have a composting uh, ability. I will build said composting thing at the bottom here. Where would that be in food? Mm, oh, oxygen. No. Refinement? Yes. Compost. We will place the composting heap there, and we will set that priority to nine. I find that it is probably the way forward. So I'm going to set that back to normal. Um, I'm going to actually... Can we remove that or is it already removed? It's already removed. No, it's not already removed. Uproot. Thank you. And they will uproot that. And it means we can have this ladder. Like that. Then we can get access to that. And it means now that we've got this toilet, we can actually empty it. So, for example, uh, you can clean it, you can empty it, and that's, that's where it'll go. So, in terms of research, we want to go ahead and select this advanced research. So, we get the water cooler and then advanced research. And then we'll go down, and the first thing we'll probably get is this thing here, uh, decontamination, deodorizer. 
gets all the smellies out of the air, and then we'll go for sanitation. Currently, we have very basic sanitation, enough to survive with, uh, but certainly no long-term uh, long thing here. Right, I think we will probably leave it there. I think that's a decent start. We've got power, we've got research, we've got our um, toilet and like that sort of thing there. We did look out with the location of the water, so we won't need to be looking for water for any... Um, I don't think we'll be. Need, we don't think we'll look for water for a while now. After this, we obviously need to get access to that, but we don't have the skills to currently dig through that. We will probably start looking at maybe going over there later on in the series, but short term, I guess it's just a case of keep digging, keep expanding. Uh, once we've got the research, we'll get some toilets and showers up, which means plumbing, which means also pumping the uh, the other stuff around. So yeah. There's um, a lot to do, and we will hopefully crack on with that next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.